Hey guys, Gaming Janix here, and um, today we're going to do an unboxing of the Alienware Tactics keyboard. And um, this is actually the second Tactics keyboard that I ordered. Um, this first one here, it's uh, broken. Some of the keys on it actually don't work. Like this zero key doesn't work. So this is actually an exchange. I'm going to send this one back. But um, if this, key if the keyboard didn't wasn't working, this this is easily one of the best keyboards on the market. It's got the user profiles. Uh, it's got the user profiles, which uh, I have um, macros on here. It has um, it has the uh, macro record button right here, the uh, gaming switch, which I I love. I like it very much. Even though I don't even hit the um, the uh, key this key very much. Um, it's still kind of cool, you know, you know, flip on and off. And then you have the um, the media keys, and on this, the media keys didn't even work. So hopefully, this um, this exchange will have working keys. And then um, like it was really weird. Like uh, if I hit the the D button worked fine, but if I hit the Shift key and the D key, it didn't work, which is really weird. So that meant basically meant I couldn't run left, which is pretty stupid. But if I hit the right shift in the D key, it worked. And if I hit the right shift in the question mark key, it didn't work. Which, another problem with this keyboard. So let's get to this unboxing. Um, it's going to be kind of difficult with one hand, but I'll try my best. It comes in this, uh, this uh, flap, so I'm just going to pull this out. And um, the box is uh, pretty nice. It's got the Alienware logo on it in black. Um, let's see how to open this. So we have the uh, installation disc, terms and conditions, whatever, and we have the actual keyboard right here in like a wrap. Or packaging, and that's uh, the wires in there. And then we have the um, the palm rest. So I'm gonna pull this all out. Gotta get this wire out from back here. Whoa! I almost dropped that. That was bad. Put this on the floor. Alright, sorry about that. Um, it's got two USBs right here. Which, that's another thing I really don't like. Um, and especially the fact that they're uh, USB 2. But it's not that big of a deal. The difference between USB 2 and 3 in terms of a keyboard, you're not really going to notice it in terms of speed. But, um... I just don't like how it, ta how it has to take up two spots on the back of my uh, computer because uh, now I'm actually filling up every single USB spot on my computer. I only have a couple things. Oh my god. Once I so once I got past the twist ties, they have these cool little stickers. One here, one here. Might use them later. Okay, keyboard is out, and the palm rest, uh, I'm not really going to use the palm rest, but if you want to attach that, you just literally put it on back here, and yeah. So um, even though this isn't a mechanical keyboard, it's membrane, it's still, it, feels still, it still feels really good for gaming, like the spacing in the keys is just awesome. If everything just feels like where it needs to be, the only problem that I had with this keyboard, and in terms of just getting used to it, was um, the escape key. Cause you know I always feel like the escape key should be like this button right here, and um, that just took some getting used to. But after that, it just it, I, once you get used to it, it's fine. Like I would always find myself hitting this this first macro button instead of the escape key, and that's just human error. But what? Um, use with this keyboard will fix that. So I'm gonna show I'm gonna show you um, 
some lights. Now, sorry guys, I couldn't get uh, Camtasia to work, so I'm just going to be recording the screen like this. But, um, yeah, it, it, you can just pick from any of these colors, and um, the, once you hit apply, the keyboard will will, uh, will change color. But and, So I'll just show you that real quick. If I go teal and we'll try green, hit, hit apply, it will change color. And um, what's really cool is um, if you hit the, uh, if you go into an advanced mode, like an advanced theme, you can make it, you can change it so that, uh, say you open a battlefield, and once you open a battlefield, the keys turn orange and white, which are the colors of, like, battlefield. Um, and then, uh, and it's, it's cool, kind of cool like that. And when you get an email, you can make it turn green. But um, what's really cool was uh, in, a, in a game like Battlefield or APB Reloaded, um, if you get shot at, like the the keys start to turn white or red. And uh, in APB Reloaded, it once you um, go on patrol, like the keys start flashing red and blue. And I had no idea about this until I actually started playing them. And uh, I'll just show you that here. So I'll get to how it actually plays in games uh, later, but I just wanted to show you how some of the macros work. Um, to do that, you have to go onto the software, and you just uh, assign your keys from here. Um, so on on my first profile, when I hit the sixth key, my calculator comes up. If I do that again, the calculator will come up again. Then I have my emails where uh, Microsoft Outlook opens up and uh, I turned I had it set where um, every email I got turned the whole keyboard green but that just kinda got annoying because I just get a lot of emails a lot of spam so yeah and then uh, this number the four key I have for TeamSpeak and that's really cool because um, it kinda gets annoying to have to um, like uh, like minimize uh, the game I'm playing to open up TeamSpeak and when I just hit this key it just pops right up and I can just switch to a channel so that comes that that's actually pretty useful especially in like a game like Arma which kinda has some uh, which kinda glitches for me when I try to switch screens but um I'll show you some more of the um the macro pro the macro program that comes with it um I have a uh, different uh I don't I only really need one profile but having three profiles is just pretty cool and you can have like uh completely uh, just unlimited profiles on here if you want to if you want to switch back and forth it's really easy um you can scan for new games scanning for new games um edit your profiles and it's just it goes in depth like a script editor I have no idea how to use this but if I ever if I ever got off my lazy ass and figured out how to do, it, I'm sure it'd be pretty awesome. Um, then you have your macro manager, and just see like the you can see it right here, like um, the shift button. When I push it down and release, that's what the up arrow is for. Like um, yeah. So back to the command center. I'm actually gonna open up a new theme. Um, I had my, uh, I forgot which one, I think it was this one. Yeah, it was this one. So when I launch TeamSpeak, the, everything will turn this, like, nice blue. So let's, let's try that right now. Okay, so if I close this out, and I open up TeamSpeak. TeamSpeak's gonna open up. Oh, wrong profile, my bad. PC is going to open up and it's going to change color. See that? When I open it up again, it'll change back to color. So that's just pretty cool. And um but I kind of I had like I said I had that set with the emails. I just kind of disabled it cuz the emails got annoying. And so it's the same thing like uh I forgot what else I had on. I haven't used that in a while. But um, when I open up Battlefield, I'll have it go orange. Or Skyrim, I'll have it go white and green, you know, just for Skyrim. And this is my default. This is what I run around with. So I'm if I run Battlefield, I'm just going to wait for this to uh, load up.
See the keyboard f goes off first, and once you start playing, it changes color. I'll show you what it looks like to get shot at. Yeah. And this whole experience just comes out just, just with uh, the keyboard. Uh, we'll do some Operation Guillotine, whatever. Keyboard's off again. Now, um, the one problem I have with this keyboard is that, uh, in the daytime, it's kind of not bright. Like, the, the, the keys aren't as bright as they should be. Like, on the camera, it might be different, but when, in person, they're a lot, like, dimmer than they appear. But at night, they are insanely bright. And, uh, I, can, I can't really game with one hand, but if I were to throw a grenade... If I were to throw a grenade and I and I got I took damage from that grenade, the keyboard would turn red, which is uh, kind of cool. I'll show you that. So uh, just to show you, I'm gonna throw a grenade at the uh, at this wall right here and kind of walk toward it. And if I look toward the keyboard, see how it kind of turned red. I wasn't really close. To it. I'll try it again. If I walk toward it. The keyboard just turned red, and since I just died, it'll it'll just change colors in the middle of combat, which is just really cool. And uh, in a game, I have it set up like when I'm in the lobby or when I die, it uh, flashes between orange and blue and white, just like right there, what you just saw. And so there's all these all there's all these crazy uh, downloads you can do on the internet. Um, like I saw one where if you um, play music, it'll just flash red, white, blue, like crazy fast. So you can just mess around with that. And, uh, yeah.